Hi friends, welcome back to Smart Engineering Academy. Myself Amit. I am here with the continuation of consolidation topic where I am starting IMCQs. The previous three lecture series had uh, analyzed the complete concept with respect to consolidation topic and with respect to those, I am going to start MCQs. So mo uh, here more than 50 MCQs I am going to solve from the single consolidation unit. As I told the uh, consolidation topic is very much important and there will be minimum one more than one questions in the all the examination in irrigation engineering there were like uh, two questions from the consolidation topic and i have seen many a questions which arises from consolidation topic here only i will show you this is a question from indian engineering service and this question was asked in 1995 as well as it has been repeated in 2005 the same question has been repeated <laughs> fine <clears throat> let me read out the question first the void ratio pressure diagram is shown in the given figure the figure is already given in the question they're asking us to find the coefficient of compressibility is so what is the coefficient of compressibility coefficient of compressibility is represented in terms of av the formula for coefficient of compressibility is change in void ratio divided by delta sigma dash or this can also be written it as e naught minus e final divided by change in pressure so this is the initial void ratio that is 0 0.7 initial void ratio is how much 0 0.7 you can see here so after getting consolidated the void ratio is going to get reduced the final void ratio is going to become 0 0.6 is it fine so if i want to calculate the value of av that is coefficient of compressibility so you know 0 0.7 minus 0 0.6 divided by change in pressure change in pressure is finally 17.5 minus 17 which comes to be 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.5 which is if you calculate this this comes to be 0 0.20 meter square per ton so the answer for this question is c see one more thing i'd like to add up here is uh, i have a telegram channel uh, please join the telegram channel all these pdfs as you people are requesting all the pdf will be shared in the telegram channel the link for the telegram channel is given in the description below please go to that and join the telegram channel and in telegram channel even the lecture what you wanted please do comment in the telegram i am going to do such a kind of lecture series and whatever you want you please do comment in the telegram group or comment section wherever it is comfortable to you fine let me move on to the next question see this is very very important question this type of question i will just take it as star into this type of question was asked in irrigation engineering examination which was conducted by kpsc and as i seen many attempts this type of question is very important in the examination point of view okay so let me read out the question a clay layer of 5 meter thick the telling a clay layer thickness of the clay layer is it is 5 meter thick in a field takes 300 days to attain in this field the thickness of the clay layer is 5 meter in the field it takes time 300 days to attain a consolidation of 50% consolidation with the condition of double drainage see this is very important the condition they have given here is double drainage system that is that means it contains sand at both top as well as bottom so this condition is double drainage system is it fine so uh, the expulsion of water take water is taking place at the top as well as at the bottom because the porous medium is present at the top as well as bottom this is the first condition if the same case okay if the same clay layer is under underlined by the hard rock one more clay layer if the same clay layer they are telling the thickness of course it is 5 meter and they are telling it is underlined by the hard rock that is here it is underlined by the hard rock here rock is present then the time of consolidation to attain 
fifty percent consolidation will be. So to attain fifty percent consolidation, what is the time required? Let me take this as T one and let me take this as T two. Of course, it is single drainage system in which the sand is present only at the top, and this is called as single drainage system. And with respect to this condition, I told you the drainage path D in case of double drainage system it will be h by 2 which is equal to 5 divided by 2 this is the condition which we need to follow and this was explained in the lecture series and in case of single drainage system the drainage path d will be is equal to h and uh, h will be 5 meter this is what we need to understand let me consider this drainage path as d1 let me consider this drainage path as d2 Coming into the consider consideration, the real mode of the question is to find out t two. What is the time required to attain u u is equal to that is consolidation is equal to fifty percent in case of single drainage system when compared to double drainage system. So the condition is very simple that, and we know the formula condition that is equal to time factor T V is equal to C V into T divided by D square. In this, what I am going to do. tv and cv i am making these two as constant if i make these two as constant tv as well as cv then t will be directly proportional to d square this is the this condition i had already explained in the lecture series then i can write it as t1 divided by t2 is equal to d1 by d2 its whole square so what is the value of t1 which is given here the value of t1 is See, this is three hundred divided by T two is the thing what we need to find now, and D uh, one is how much? D one is five by two, five by two. It's all square. See, don't forget the square thing. And what is D two? D two is five meter. If you calculate the value of T two, it comes to be twelve hundred. That is T two is thousand two hundred days. Thousand two hundred days is the uh, right answer for this question. Take it as six hundred. Okay, this is very important. By making use of the, I had used two condition. One is with respect to drainage system. Condition of drainage system, I found the value of uh, drainage path. Then I took the time factor and I made the constant of T V as well as C V both. And T when T is directly proportional to D square, it would be the condition. And you are supposed to find the value of T two. In case of this single drainage system, the value, the time which is required is thousand two hundred days to attain fifty percent consolidation. But in case of drainage system, it is bit earlier. That is because the water can can be excluded in both top as well as bottom but in single drainage system what happens in the bottom there is a presence of rock due to the presence of rocks the drainage is taking place only at the top that is the reason it requires some more time when compared to double drainage system and uh, as a check this is it takes 300 days and it takes 1200 days that is the main difference over these two things okay so without wasting any time let me move on to the next question Yeah, coefficient of uh, they have given the match the following and they have given the list of these things. So I will just tell you how to analyze these things. Coefficient of compressibility. Coefficient of compre compressibility is expressed in expressed as a a v. That is delta e by delta sigma dash that you know. That is how it is represented. Coefficient of compressibility is represented. Void ratio versus sigma dash. Or sigma naught, void ratio versus pressure. So this is stress deformation. It is not possible. Stress void ratio. See, one is stress, and this is void. So stress void ratio is right thing for a coefficient of compression index. Compression index is represented in terms of cc. Then void ratio versus log to the pressure or stress. So it is log stress to the void ratio. Is it fine? Log stress to the void ratio. Then answer for this is four. 
then coefficient of subgrade modulus of course it is stress deformation and it is 1 2 4 1 okay all these things uh, all these graphs is explained in the lecture series is it fine so without wasting any time let me move on to the next question mm, yes yeah the virgin compression curve for the following soil shown in the figure below what is the compression index of the soil they're asking us to find what is the compression index compression index don't get confused with two things one is coefficient of compressibility coefficient of compressibility is represented in terms of av coefficient of compression index is represented in terms of cc and coefficient of compressibility is um, void ratio uh, it is a stress void ratio but in case of cc it is also stress void ratio but is in terms of log that is the difference between these two things so they are asking us to find the value of cc what is the formula for cc e naught minus ef divided by log sigma f dash divided by sigma naught dash so what is the initial void ratio initial void ratio is 1.3 and the final void ratio after getting consolidated of course it de get decreases that is 1 divided by log to the sigma final sigma final is how much 100 divided by sigma initial it was 10 which comes to be uh, 0 0.3 divided by log 10 log, the value of log 10 is equal to 1 so the answer is 0 0.3 the right answer for this question is 0 0.3 fine see this was asked in the indian engineering service 2007 okay see how if you know the concept if you know the formulas you can easily solve all the question either it may be indian engineering service awe state psc whatever it may be so next question so this is also the same question what we have done I mean what we have solved previous question so I'll just mark it as a please calculate this yourself and do comment me in the comment section by mentioning uh, for op, uh, I mean for question a so what is the answer is it 0 0.35 or is it 0 0.50 okay please do comment in the comment section below This is very important question. Coefficient of permeability is doubled. Okay. Coefficient of permeability. If the coefficient of permeability is doubled, they are asking if the coefficient of permeability is doubled. That is, co if this coefficient of permeability, if it is doubled, it becomes 2K. And if the coefficient of volume compressibility is halved, how will you write the coefficient of volume compressibility is written in terms of MV? If coefficient of volume compressibility it is getting half, the coefficient of consolidation. So what is the effect with respect to coefficient of consolidation? Coefficient of consolidation is represented in terms of CV. What is the effect with respect to coefficient of consolidation? They are asking. So what I am going to do? CV. The formula for CV we have already studied. CV is equal to K divided by mv that is coefficient of volume change into unit weight of water here you, we know uh, gamma w that is unit weight of water is always constant and i'll just make cvs constant by making these two things constant i need to study what is the relationship that is what is the change in cv when the value of k and mv is doubled by this i can conclude k is directly proportional to mv is it fine this can be written as k1 divided by k2 which is equal to mv1 divided by mv2 by this we can see calculate the value of cv what is the variation with respect to cv so what is k1 initially it is k and what is k2 after that it is getting doubled that is 2k 
which is equal to initially m m v after that it is getting half times of m v by this variation we can see the c v k k gets cancel m v m v gets cancel so c v will be equal to this comes here if we calculate this it comes to be four times since c v is directly proportional to four it increases to four times the coefficient of consolidation will be increased to four times since it is directly proportional so let me continue some more mcqs in the upcoming session so i am going to share this pdf in the telegram channel uh, smart academy ash kpsc ash and the description of my telegram channel will be given in the below description so thank you one and all meet you again bye bye